What is up guys? Welcome back to another Freakdography Abandoned Mansion adventure. Today guys, we are in a large abandoned mansion that actually looks abandoned for once. All these abandoned mansions that I've been exploring and posting lately look like real estate photography, real estate pictures, you know, like there, no, there's, no pee, there's no paint peel, there's no decay. Guys, this house is a dump. So finally we're in something that actually looks abandoned and I couldn't be more excited. Huge thanks to my friend Sven for hooking me up with this location. Anyways guys, let's quit messing around. Cue the music, cue the intro. See you guys on the flip side. Okay guys, we are gonna start today inside the pool. I am currently in the shallow end of the indoor pool in this abandoned mansion. Beautiful, beautiful room. Let's take a walk down into the deep end, won't we? Somebody put a chair down here. <coughs> oh, excuse me, everybody say bless you, photography. Okay guys, we are now in the deep end of the pool, indoor pool of the abandoned house. There's the slide. There's the ladder, there's the diving board. Check it out, guys. I love abandoned houses with indoor pools, but even more than loving abandoned houses with indoor pools, I love abandoned houses with a spiral staircase. Let's go check that out, guys. Now, guys, I've been listening to your feedback, and some of you guys say I go too fast. I move too fast, I pan too quickly. I am gonna try my best today, guys, to slow the heck down, all right? Take it easy, slow down. But let's not waste any time and hurry up and get up this spiral staircase, guys. Oh, and it's hot up here, guys. Oh my God, hot. Oh, there's cobwebs everywhere, guys. This is a glassed-in sunroom. Oh, it's hot. Holy crap. I can't stand it up here, guys. It's too hot. Oh, man. And I got cobwebs all over my face. I'm getting out of here. Let's go. Oh, man. I didn't like that one bit, guys. Covered in cobwebs. Okay, Whew. that sucked guys. So let's check out the pool room. Huge windows guys, fake plants for the not abandoned police, plants of plastic. All right, nice light fixtures up here. I have a lot of breath now guys. Now there's a sauna over here. Check it out. The light bright enough? There we go. Okay, we got a sauna, shower, a lot of cobwebs, guys. And then there's a shower out here for showering before you have a swim. And then there's the bathroom. And getting close enough. Get a quick what is up, guys. Okay, guys, so the indoor pool is on the main ground level. And in order to get into the house, in there, you have to go into the basement. So let's go inside, guys. Check out the inside of the house. While we're walking through a dark part of the house, gotta say thanks to my friends at Loom Cube for hooking me up with this light that you see. This is a Loom Cube 2.0, guys. And that's what I use to film and uh, light up my videos. Hit the link in the video description down below. Use my code FREAKPHOTO, guys, for 10% off your Loom Cube purchase. What do we got back here? A little bit of a kitchen looking like. It's back behind this door here, guys. 
mysterious door. Ooh, goes into a... Uh... Ooh, where does this go, guys? A secret door. It goes into the secret rooms. Whoa. Okay. We got a storage room in here. Look at this green. Wow. Look at this. That's fancy, eh? Fancy pantry room. Oh, then it fell down there. A little bit of black mold in here. Not too much to really get worried about, but uh, we're not gonna stay in here for too long. Got a well down here. And then, go over here. There's this door. Where does this go? Where does this go? Is this the garage? Guys, there's like secret rooms in this house. Wow. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay. So here we're back on the main floor, guys. So we went through the basement to get up here, but this is uh, not the way I meant to take. So we're going to go back in. Go back down. I've got cobwebs all over my head, guys. All over my head. In my face, in my mouth. All right. Interesting little uh, side venture there into the other parts of the house that I didn't know were here. So here we're in the rec room, guys. Wood panel with walls. Big log right in the floor there. And then here, we got some more firewood. Fireplace. There's a what is up guys in the mirror if you can see me. Got a small mirror right there, I'll let you guys do that one. Big mirror coming up here. What's up, guys? And then there's a lot of, a lot of mold and water damage in this house, guys. Here's your laundry room. Cleaning supplies over there. Washer and dryer. This house really screams 1970s and 80s, guys. It also screams black mold in here where I'm not gonna stay. <coughs> Check out this glass. Okay guys, we are gonna follow the wooden panel walls up these stairs, up to the main floor of the house. It's pretty warm up here, guys. Pretty warm. The layout in this house is so weird, guys. So weird. So we'll head through here in this room. We got a fireplace here and a bunch of uh, bunch of boots that somebody left behind. They're all muddy. Fireplace, wood stove. Interesting. Uh, what is this? An oven? Never seen one like this before, guys. Check this out. You got your brass hood. This is crazy. Never seen something like that before. Have you guys? We got some vomit colored curtains, guys, right here. Just decorative, they don't go all the way across. But there's a lot of windows in this house. A lot of windows, a lot of wood. What's back here, guys? It's a sexy bathroom. Check out this glass here. Just checking, making sure all is clear. And then this shows us the garage, guys. Let's go check out the garage. Nothing in it. 
plain and simple. Okay. Let's keep going, guys. We got a lot of house to cover here. It's the big house, and it's got a very, very strange layout. So we looked at this part with the stove, wood stove. This is the room we were just in, guys, right here, where we came out the wrong way, down from the basement right there, up into this room. Straight ahead there, guys, is the pool where we just were. Now, here's the kitchen. Big old uh, fridge here. Interesting colored glass. Check out this kitchen, guys. Now check out this stove, guys. Frigidaire, custom imperial. I've been told that this is an extremely rare and uh, expensive stove at the time. And not many people had these. So the people who bought this stove may have been wealthy and not many people had this from what I'm told. There's the corner, it's like a little office in the corner of the kitchen here. Got this locked up section here. There's a key. Wonder what that's all about. How to, how to set a barometer. Hmm. All right. So which way are we gonna go first? Let's go, I think there was something to see over here. No, that goes downstairs. It's in here. Nothing, guys. That's just a closet. Okay. Let's go down here, and we will go straight ahead first. A few bedrooms back here. Shag carpet, guys. Check out the shag carpet. And then I'm going to lift it up here. More wood paneling. I'll turn my light off here. I don't need this light on anymore now that we're upstairs. Dresser built into the wall. Nice big windows to let in some natural light. And then here's your closet. And we throw up a what is up guys as we walk by. And then there's a second closet over this way. Right here. As you can see. And then we have another built in dresser. All the way up to a what is up guys. What's up there? Nothing. You guys like my new pole? Where I can lift it up really high. Or take it down really low. Or get up real close. I like it. Oh, here's the really interesting bathroom here, guys. Wow. I got to turn my light on for this one. Look at all the mirrors in the bathroom, guys. Whoa. All the way around. All the way around. And all the way around here. Bit of a more modern sink, which is strange. And then your toilet is crammed into this little nook here. And then you got this big old 1970s sexy style bathtub. Square bathtub, but a little tiny oval place to sit. But your water can come up here, over the lip here. That is an interesting, and then look at the ceiling. There's an, like a more modern ceiling and a light. This place is weird. It's like you can't decide if it wants to be old or new. I don't know. And then look at the difference between the carpet. You got shag carpet there. You got green semi shag here. And then here you've got just like a regular carpet. Curtains still hanging. Barely. Now 
Nice display case here, built into the wall. Wood paneling again. Okay, we're gonna go upstairs last. So let's take a walk down this sexy looking hallway here. What is this, marble? The mirror says, if you can read it, watch out, they're in here. Who's in here? Nobody in there, guys. Nobody in there either. So I don't know what I'm watching out for. Better watch out for that though. What's up, guys? All right, main living room. Looks to me like they have either created a wall where there used to be an opening or they have patched up some holes. Because here you can see where the, where the wallpaper was. And then if we come out a bit, you can see that they've got some fresh drywall and some work being done here that was being done at one point. And then here's your old white dusty tattered curtains. Great big giant patio doors, eh? Look at that. Those are huge. More curtains. And then here you can sit in the living room and watch the kitties go swimming. That's good, that's good for safety. And then here you got a fireplace and a mantle going across. Somebody had a fire in here somewhat recently, you can smell it. And then here, guys, is your main front door, your main entry to the house. If it'll open, let's see. So here's your front door. Come on in, check yourself out in the mirror, say what is up guys. Hang up your closet, hang up your coat in the closet. Nothing in there. And then come on in guys. Now if I have gone a bit too fast, I'm sorry, but I am gonna do some panning shots of the rooms after this initial first tour. So we're gonna go through, I'm gonna continue to blab away and give you guys the tour. And then when I've done the tour, I'll do some panning shots of the rooms in the house so you don't have to listen to me talk, all right? Weird. Okay, check out this wood paneled, green carpeted stairway up to the upstairs of the house. This is interesting. Maybe they had a tree up here or something for decoration. This is a strange room, guys. It's just, uh, I'm guessing maybe this was a closet where they kept their fur coats. It's all cedar. So this must have been a coat closet. This just screams 1970, guys. Wow. Is anybody counting how many times I've said guys? I'm not. Check out this light. Okay, we'll start here to the left. Vomit green yellow carpet. Green curtains. Wood paneling all the way around. Oh, excuse me. Underneath the carpet, we've got tile. It's hot up here, guys. Should have brought some Gatorade. Another room, another cedar closet. And then there's some more curtains, some in wall storage. Moving along, there's two more rooms. We have a bathroom in here, very small bathroom. And then we'll head back here, possibly the master bedroom. Take a look around. 
And then in the back, we head out and they have this uh, balcony back here. It joins the two bedrooms from here. This is the other bedroom with the, with the carpet ripped up. Can't get in there though. Really hot in here, guys. Check out the backyard. Here, I'll turn my light off so we can see through the windows. There's your backyard. There doesn't seem to be a pool back there because there's an indoor pool, but they've got a garden and they've got a, a fountain and some trees, birdhouses. That's your pool room there, guys, with the... Uh, with the with the ceiling lights, whatever the, hell, whatever the hell you call that, skylights. <laughs> Sorry. All right, guys, that covers the tour of the house. So why don't I shut up now and play some music, and I'll show you guys the rooms uh, without the sound of my voice. We'll do some panning shots, show you each of the different rooms, so you can get a better look. I'll take my time, go slow. So I'll see you guys on the other side of the panning shots.
Okay, guys, let's wrap this one up. Thanks so much, guys, for being here. Thanks so much for watching. This has been a good one. I love finding me a nice, decayed, actually abandoned house that I don't have to feel like I'm walking around in somebody's house and somebody's gonna show up for a real estate listing in a minute. So a quick thanks to my friend Sven for hooking me up with this one. If you guys live in Ontario, Canada, and you have any idea of about abandoned places that you want me to check out, do me a favor guys, drop me an email to info at freetography.ca, send me a message on Facebook, send me a message on Instagram, and give me the info of this house and I will check it out. Couple things guys, as always, before we go, number one, make sure you hit that like button. Number two, drop me a comment down below and tell me where in the world are you watching me from. Number three, if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button, watch my old videos, catch up on my newer stuff, and stay tuned for all the good stuff that's to come. And last but not least guys, thanks to my good friends at LoomCube for hooking us up with these amazing lights that we use to light up all of our videos and all of my pictures. Guys, make sure you hit the link in the video description below for LoomCube, use my code FREAKPHOTO at checkout, get yourself 10% off your purchase. If you're a YouTuber, if you use Twitch, if you are a vlogger, a blogger, a photographer, TikTok, Zoom meetings, you name it guys, LoomCube has everything you guys need for whatever you need it for. Thank you so much guys for watching, thanks for subscribing, thanks for being here, and as always guys, see you guys in the next adventure. Peace. This video is sponsored in part by LoomCube. LoomCube lives to help us create better content. Hit the link in the video description below to shop LoomCube's wide assortment of products and use the code FREAKPHOTO at checkout for 10% off your LoomCube purchase. <laughs>